Hello everyone, thank you very much for the opportunity. Today I would like to share the result of my experiment entitled Characterization of Acid Soluble Type 1 Collagen from Decapterus Macaroli Skin. This is my team, my name is Elisa Herawati, and I'm working with Yoshida Mai, Helen, Vicky, and also Professor Ajira Trianto. Okay, I would like to start from introduction. Marine organisms are potential reservoir for biomaterials beneficial for human health. Biomass derived from fisheries serve as an alternative collagen source, yet knowledge on this is still very limited. Collagen is considered one of the most abundant proteins in the body of vertebrates and the most study molecules. And recently, marine source collagen is gaining more interest for several reasons. First, numerous studies have shown excellent biological activities from collagen peptides. And second, the risk of transmissible disease from marine collagen was not reported so far. And last, discarded fisheries byproducts, such as skin, will significantly contribute to developing sustainable resources of collagen extract with reducing the environmental impact. One of potential marine source collagen is the skin of Decapterus macarellus. This is a fish found inhabiting tropical and subtropical seas. In Indonesia, this species comprise 25 to 60 percent of the overall catch of small pelagic fish, thus becoming one of the essential aquatic commodities. Until now, there has been no report on this species regarding to the collagen extraction. Thereby, this research focuses on the extraction, characterization, and also antioxidant activity of the capturous macaroles acid soluble collagen. With a relatively high skin yield, about 13% of the body weight, we showed that collagen extraction from this species skin was simple, quick, and also efficient. Okay, from this slide, I would like to show you the step by step of collagen process. First, we cut the skin into small pieces around 1 times 1 cm square, and then we did pretreatment. Basically, this is removing non collagenous protein by soaking it in natrium hydroxide. And after that, we perform the collagen extraction by using acetic acid. This is the concentration and also the ratio. And after that, we obtain supernatant. That's the solution which contains the collagen. We precipitate that solution and then using Dialysis membrane, we perform dialysis. This is to cut off some ions, some small uh, proteins, molecules. And after that, we got the collagen and freeze dry using the freeze dryer to obtain collagen sponge. And then we measure the yield, calculate pH, also perform some physical characteristics using the SAM, scanning electron micrograph, FTIR, and to know the molecular weight, we can do it by using SES page. And also we want to know the antioxidant activity, so we use TPPH scavenging activity test. So this is the result. The acid soluble collagen obtained from Decapterus macarellus skin appeared as a white and odorless sponge with pH 5.6. The acid extraction technique yielded 4.4%, which is quite good as compared to previous study describing the yield from fish skin using acid acid solvents. We realized that the optimum acid extraction method for collagen depends on the solvent ratio to the skin and also the duration of the soaking. So in this study, we prolonged the extraction time up to 18 hours and it increased significantly the collagen extracted, extracted for, from mackerel skin. Nevertheless, we also Understand that the skin's natural characteristics, such as the thickness, the initial protein content, the amount of lysine, hydroxylysine, might also influence the yield. And this is the micrograph showing the surface of the collagen by using scanning electron microscopy. We showed here that the SAM morphological analysis of the lyophilized ASC using SAM reveal the collagen structure that looks like a dense, flaky sheet. At the high magnification image, it is revealed that the detail, the detail of collagen fibril with some granules at the surface. Apparently, this is a salt residue. 
This result has met the expectation of the typical morphology of collagen, whereby networks of collagen fibrils bundle together, forming a dense sheet-like structure. And a similar morphology of the collagen was reported from rudder fish skin extracted using the same acetic acid method. The electrophoresis band pattern of acid-soluble collagen showed that the Capterus macaralus consists of type 1 collagen and also three dimers. You can see in detail here it has alpha 1, alpha 2, and also beta. This is all showing the typical of type 1 collagen protein. And we further characterize using FTIR. This is a technique for determining a material's functional group and polypeptide chain configuration related to the molecular bond characteristic and its chemical environment. Here we show that the extracted collagen revealed some chemical feature of collagen in the form of five amide peaks. There is an amide A, amide B, amide 1, 2, and also 3, all of which showing a certain with number. So this is a typical absorption of collagen based on the previous study. So here we confirm that the materials that we extracted using acid is indeed a collagen and it, it is a particularly type 1 collagen. This study evaluates the potential industrial application of the Capterus macaralus acid soluble collagen. So we measured its antioxidant activity using TPPH free radical scavenging activity. This study showed that the AEC had an antioxidant activity with IC value 588 ppm, which is um, quite good if compared to other previous study. Okay, let's see here uh, as an example in the collagen extracted from yellowfin tuna, it has the IC value 560 ppm. And when they hydrolyze, hydrolyze it into a smaller collagen peptides, then the IC value reduced to 119. And also, the similar phenomena happen in the tilapia skins, which has a higher IC value, but when um, they hydrolyze it into smaller peptides, then it reduced the IC50 value to 93.2 ppm. This shows that the low molecular weight peptides tend to increase the antioxidant activities. So in the future, it will be of our interest to hydrolyze the acid-soluble collagen from the skin into the collagen peptide to improve the bioactivity. As a conclusion of this study, acid-soluble collagen was successfully extracted from the Capterus macaralus skin using the acetic acid method and we characterize the AAC by using scanning electron micrograph, electrophoresis, band patterns of STS page, FTIR spectra, and all confirm that the Capterus macaralus skin consists of type 1 collagen. The acid extraction method yielded a decent amount of AAC, which remained the typical helical structure as shown by FTIR spectra. And also we showed that ASC showed antioxidant activity with IC value 588 ppm as measured by TPPH assay. Finally, we would like to thank Universitas Blas Marat for supporting this research. And these are some references used in this study. Thank you very much for your attention.